So you're going to have to forgive me if I don't sound the greatest. I'm coming down with something. And I don't know if it's contagious, so you might want to just click off. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Stay, stay around. So this is going to be a little bit different than anything else I've posted on here. I think my highlights are a little hard. Let's move that light away a little bit. Is it this one? Oh, it's that one. So if you haven't seen it in my community tab, I've hit a thousand subscribers and I've now hit the 4,000 watch time hours in order to become monetized on YouTube. And what's surprising to me is that I did this in a little over two months. I think it's been officially two months and 10 days, which now means that I could potentially make a living off of YouTube by selling items in the merch store down below or becoming a member of my fan club, which is also down below, which also means I can make money off Google AdSense, which means that whenever you guys see an advertisement on this video, I'm making a small portion of that, but that's not why I'm making this video. And ultimately, I just wanted to thank every one of you for being here, for clicking subscribe, for liking a video, for leaving a comment, for even disliking a video, whatever it may be. If you guys came here and watched even a single minute of any of my videos, I am thankful to you. I wish I had an opportunity to meet every single one of you and shake your hands and express my gratitude towards you, but unfortunately, I can't. Plus, I'm sick and you would probably get whatever I have. Oh, I feel gross. So yes, I wanted to make this video to express my gratitude, but also to share with you a little bit about me. And for those who haven't figured it out already, my name is Danny. I'm 35 years old and I'm from Vancouver, Canada. And for as long as I can remember, I've always liked cameras, I guess. Also do enjoy singing, but that's another topic for another time. But here's a little video of me doing what I do. But on my personal time, I am a full-time wedding photographer, which would explain the lights, the camera, and you know, everything else I do. And I do have a love and passion for telling couples love stories. It's absolutely crazy how a wedding day can make me this close to shedding tears. I'm kidding, I just run to the back and do it behind closed doors when no one can see me. But all jokes aside, I've always had a love for film and storytelling. I just love telling stories, whether it's my own personal story or stories that I've heard or just things I've read on the news. I've always just loved sharing. And this ultimately led me to a variety of failed attempts of starting YouTube channels. I started a YouTube channel where I would sing covers and original music, but it just never took off. And I'm okay with that because I love music and I, I do that for me ultimately. And then I figured, hey, you know what? I know so much about cameras. I should share my knowledge about that. But unfortunately, as much as I love cameras, I didn't enjoy making tech review videos about them really. And one day it finally hit me that I would start a true crime channel. There are several reasons for this. Number one, you should be passionate about what you share on YouTube. And no, I'm not passionate about people doing gruesome, horrible things to other people, but I am passionate about sharing other people's stories. Unfortunately, some true crime stories go right under the radar. And at the end of the day, you just never know who's listening. Maybe somebody that knows something about some case that went unsolved or that can provide further perspective on one that may have already been solved is out there. Because my prerogative and wish is to give a voice to the people that never had one. And that's why as of today, I'm going to start segmenting my content into solved and unsolved stories. So we can do just that. Give a voice to those who never had one. I feel like I'm all over the place here. Really, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself, but here we are talking about the direction of the channel. But ultimately the message is I'm thankful for you. And I appreciate you stopping by, hitting the subscribe, doing all that great stuff. That's enough of my gibberish, but I'm gonna leave you with this. Now is the time to do that thing that you've always wanted to do. I don't know if it's creating a YouTube channel for you or, you know, bungee jumping or skydiving or starting that business or get on that diet that you've always wanted to start. Now is the time to do that. And yes, the second that you step out of your comfort zone and do that thing that nobody's seen you do, people are gonna doubt you. So don't share it with your friends. Don't share it with your family. Do everything in silence. But when you pursue this, you have to do it wholeheartedly and believe that you can. One of my biggest fears doing this was that I would be chasing becoming monetized for years. I really didn't know how long this process would take. There was days where I didn't wanna get up at all and work on this. I didn't wanna write scripts. And sometimes I'd feel down because some of my videos didn't perform all that well. But I promise you, if you sit there and learn nothing from the process of failure, you will never receive the outcome that you're looking for. I could look at some of my videos that bombed and see them as a waste of time. Even this video, only had 200 views, but I don't know who watched it. I don't know if it made a difference in one person's day that somebody gave a voice to this person. But ultimately, if it changed something for even one person, it makes it worth it. 
But if you don't pursue it with the belief that you can succeed, you just never will. So again, if you're just somebody that's aspiring to do that thing that you've always wanted to do, just go do it. Because you never know what's gonna happen. And even right now, I, I have a thousand subscribers, which is crazy to believe that a thousand people would sit through listening to me. I, I, I'm a weird person. But I do believe in my heart that we will reach 100,000 on this channel as a family, as a community, and ultimately accomplish what we set out to do. Wow, that was a long way to say thank you. And I went on a tangent, but I'm gonna upload it anyway, so it's cool. Anyways, I hope you stay safe, and I will see you when the lights go out. Because I am a little sick, I'm probably gonna be late on my next week's video. Forgive me. But if you wanna check up on me, check out my community tab. I'm posting there as much as possible. Or my IG and other social media. Anyways, later. I'm gonna go get some pho. Pho. I know it's pho.